I can't imagine not teaching. Yes, you're doing it, but it's like barely doing it. Exaggerate it. That was, that was awesome. To me, playing and teaching are two sides of the same coin. One of the things I've really enjoyed doing is helping to motivate other young musicians to uh, believe in themselves and find their own path. So this idea of the virtual viola studio really came about over the course of a couple of seasons. I would find myself um, on tour uh, in hotels and I would give online lessons to my private students. I would just basically set up my iPhone or my iPad and they would play for me and I would listen and I would give them suggestions and we found that this to be a very effective method. It's been a great way for me to um, pass on some of the lessons that I've learned while on the road because so many times the lessons that we learn don't take place in the classroom. How to travel, how to deal with airports, how to make sure that I stay in shape physically, mentally. And so as these things crystallize in my mind, I can't wait to share them with my students. So what I'm trying to do is to help motivate students that I maybe only will see one time in a master class in some country or perhaps I work with them for a few weeks at a festival and they want to continue or perhaps these are um, violists, young professionals who have never met but they've heard about me and want to pick my brain and ask about repertoire questions um, how to um, deal with performance anxiety, questions about schools, questions about careers. And these are all things that I uh, have um, some ideas about. <laughs> Welcome to my virtual viola studio, and I hope to see you soon.